going to hear about this. I'm going to pull this article up. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, Tommy, hey, everybody, did, did you tell people you should date R. Kelly? No. Oh, wait a fucking second. <laughs> no. No, but I met R. Kelly. What year was this? Damn, Tommy. This is Come on, Tommy. Tommy. Look, Tommy, Tommy you know what you told me. No, that's top no, you told me. Let you uh, this never happened. That is false news. That is false news. That is not no false news. I was that not is trafficked not by false. R. Kelly. Tommy, he gave, stop he being gave like, me and my cousin's hugs and said hi to us. It was very nice. Tommy, you I said like, you were 17. You said it was legal. It was like, it was like my sophomore, freshman off to my sophomore year. Not Tommy surviving R. Kelly. Tommy told me R. Kelly cupped no, her right butt cheek. No, the fuck he did it. No, neck. he did not. You fucking told me that, Tommy. That never happened. Oh, now you lying. The replays that never happened. Oh, this is crazy, the motherfucker. I can't believe you sitting here like really. Never happened. She only doing it because Somali woman is fucking with black men, bro. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna mute up. Run the story, Tommy. Go ahead, run the story then. But before Fuck I run, it, the Tommy, story, run the story, that never happened. Okay, R. Kelly was very nice to me and my friends, but he definitely was with a lot of young girls. Anyways, besides the point. The point is this. R. Kelly has been sentenced to another 20 years in prison for a federal CP. I'm not going to say the actual word, but CP case and will run concurrently. R. Kelly has been sentenced to another uh, 20 years prison or another sentencing for 20 years after being found guilty uh, in his federal case. CP yeah. last September yeah, 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 yeah. on Thursday, February 23rd, R. Kelly appeared in court learning his fate that his latest sex crime in the case of Chicago. The disgraced singer was sentenced to 20 years in prison by the U.S. District Judge Harry D. Lineweber. According to the report released by the United States Attorney's Office, of the two decades long sentence, R. Kelly will only have to serve one additional year after Line Weber decided all but one year of the sentencing will run concurrently with the singer's current 30 year sentencing for sex trafficking in New York. And I quote, within today's sentencing, a sexual predator is being held accountable for years of abuse that he's inflicted on minors. Uh, vic minor victims. The U.S. Attorney John R. Losh said the decision, and I quote, Kelly has been using his celebrity and wealth to attract and victimize young girls and to obstruct prior criminal proceedings intending to end his d despicable conduct. We commend the courage and strength of victims who came forward on this case to expose R. Kelly's crimes and our, our offices will never seek stop seeking justice for victims of so child sexual abuse. The public can take comfort knowing that it, that Kelly will never be able to be in a position to exploit young girls again. The prosecution initially was seeking 25, a 25 year sentencing that would tack onto R. Kelly's completed 30 year and he is already serving according to the CNN. Robert Kelly is a sexual predator who will who over the course of many years specifically targeted young girls and went to great lengths to cover and conceal his abuse. Jane and other minor victims, prosecutors wrote in a filing to this day, even the following verdict or jury verdict against him, Kelly refuses to accept the responsibility for his crimes. However, the 56 year old singer's defense argued that he is essentially servicing, ser sentencing or serving a life sentence. It is unlikely that R. Kelly was to survive his 30-year sentence. There is no reason to believe he would offend as a geriatric in his mid-80s, his attorneys encountered. The, over, the overwhelming majority of R. Kelly's criminal conduct was committed by a quarter of a century ago. R. Kelly had more state criminal charges in Illinois pending. However, last month, the Illinois prosecutor dropped those charges, citing that R. Kelly is already serving the de facto life sentencing. XXL has reached out to R. Kelly's attorneys for comment. They have not responded. Yeah. So right now he is serving a total of 30 years, and then he has an extra one year that he doesn't have to serve consecutively. Okay, I, I, I guess what, that's what they're saying. And then a 20-year uh, sentencing concurrently on top of that. And that's for the CP case. And the feds picked that up after, I believe, a lot of his charges was dropped. We got a 30 with... 51 years. In no, 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 no. They're concurrent. 51 years, yeah, but they ran the 20 concurrent. So they're running the 20 concurrent with the 30. So he's got to do the 30. Yep, he has he to do, do the, the 30. 30 first and then the 20. Has to oh, not okay. So, he, the, so, the so it's going to run with it. The 20 so is going to run with it. So it's not bow legged DMBs? 
Hello. So he ain't never getting out. So the twenty's gonna run with the thirty. It's the, okay, so it's yeah. concurrent. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, thought they, I thought they, I thought they, I thought they bow legged that nigga. He no. got to do that thirty. Uh, then that twenty. He's got to do the thirty. He's got thirty. Uh, then he's got to do. He's got the thirty sentence, and then the twenty's gonna run with it. Once the twenty's done, he's gonna have to finish that last ten of the thirty, and he's done. Sir Kelly, let's do some math here. Let's do some math. He might as well say he's gonna die in jail. Shit. And he like fifty. Damn. He didn't get like thirty-one years. He's he got parole. He got parole in fifteen years. Hey Tommy, why did? Yeah. You gotta do time off the top. Um, I believe he the, so the thirty years for sex trafficking in New York. 24? That was for the sex trafficking crime in New York, right? When he took the girls out of state, so he got it for thirty off of that, and then the feds picked up the CP case. So that's the videos allegedly, or not even allegedly anymore. Uh, the CP case, which is him doing lewd acts with minors on camera, and he got twenty years off of that, and that's concurrent to the thirty years. Yeah, because I think the feds only take, what, 52 days off a year, huh? Something like that. You only get 52 days off for each year, so. Damn, he still going to do about 20, about 25, 26. Right? He yeah, said, he's, yeah, so he's currently 30. 50. Yeah, they only take, yeah, they only take 52 days off a year. Yeah, he's, he's 56 years old. I don't think he's going to make. Right. Because the feds, the, the, the state's right? just going to leave their case alone. It's going to be the 30 years that they're going to take. They're going to take the 30. And it's just going to be that. That's just what it is. Well, this is the thing. I don't know how it works for SA cases when it comes to Fed cases, but I do think that I don't know if I'm. You guys can quote me here. I don't know if I'm wrong, but I believe it's state. When you're sentenced statewide, you actually have to serve your sentencing. When you do Fed cases, they're kind of lenient. You can work on like getting out early off of Fed cases. Am I wrong? Opposite way. It's the other way. Okay. Yeah, Fed case, they don't like to give you extra time. You get a year maybe off to go to the house, but um, the state the state will knock off time. You get time, time, time knock off quick. Uh, fun good behavior for state. Yeah. No, he's doing 85%. He's doing 85%. He doing 85 yeah. 52 days off a year. He ain't he going to be in there a minute. Yeah, he's not going to cut. They said 80 is. I did the math if he was able to serve. Um, because he's 56 plus the 50. He would literally be coming out if he was 106 if he served the full sentence. He's he's not gonna make it. But it's concurrent, so 